Hey yeah, folks, this is Shantrum here, and welcome to the let's play of my honor mode challenge run. Specifically, we're going for a duo, no cheese, no rest, honor mode challenge run. And I want to see if this is doable. The rules I've set up, there are five of them, are as follows. First off, we are going on honor mode, specifically for the changed rule set. Rule number two, duo run. What's not allowed is bringing more than two party members to any given fight, with the special exception for the tutorial, where Shadowheart gets to be there, but isn't allowed to act. For rule number three, no long resting. Rule four, pick the hard version of every fight. For the fifth and final rule, we are going with no cheese, depending of course on your definition of cheese. And I know people vary a lot on this subject, but to elaborate, not allowed lugging around barrels, stealth bugging enemies, otherwise intentionally bugging the game, things of that caliber. What is allowed is using what I'd call locally sourced barrels, barrels that sort of belong to the location where we're fighting. It's okay to blow them up, that's just dandy. We're also allowed to break potions for area of effects. We're allowed to dip in candles and other minor clever use of game mechanics to give us a, an edge throughout the game. So in short, we're going for a duo, no cheese, no rest, honor mode challenge run. And we are probably starting off with one of the hardest fights in all of the game, the tutorial boss here. We want to do it, of course, in the hardest way possible, so we need to kill the champions, we need to kill Commander Shulk, we need to kill the Mind Flayer, but we are of course allowed to do it in a clever way. Finally, before we look at the character, shout out to YouTuber Melf for giving me the inspiration for this run. For a link to his challenge run, check the doobly doo. Good, so before we start for real, uh, let me go through the character. I've chosen Githyanki as my race, primarily to get access to astral knowledge. This is just Five more skill points, more or less. We have also the Githyanki Psionics Mage Hand and some other stuff. I'm not going to go through it all. Medium Armor is great in the beginning here. We like that. For class, I've chosen Warlock. They are very strong in the opening fight, and I also want to play a Warlock through the game. For my cantrips, we've gone with Eldritch Blast and Mage Hand. Uh, we already have the Mage Hand from Githyanki, but we still want it on a short rest cooldown. And we have it here. And then we have the, the Fiend subclass. And the reason I've chosen the Fiend is because I want to be able to pick up Command, which I can only do as Fiend. And the reason I want Command is so we can make Commander Shulk drop his weapon, obviously. And I will not be using Shadowheart in that fight, so we don't have her to do it as you would usually do. And then, of course, Hex for the extra damage. Background Urchin, picking up the important deck sk skills and... I've chosen Deception and Intimidation, mostly because I am going to... Anything else I could have picked, I'm going to get by Astral Knowledge. For stat spread, we have Strength 8, Dexterity 16, Constitution 14, Intelligence 12, Wisdom 8, and Charisma 16. There's no reason to get an uneven point in Charisma here, or in anything, to be honest. We can always change that around later, and I will, by respecking. There is a point that you could change these around, but I actually like having the extra initiative and specifically also the extra chance to hit for a little bit in the beginning, where I'm probably going to be doing wielding and maybe shooting stuff with a crossbow once in a while. And intelligence is for the skills. The wisdom part hurts a little bit because there's one wisdom save we want to... Not save, what wisdom roll we want to make early on. But I'll get to that once we get to that. That's great. This is how we've set him up. And... Let's go. His name is Dredge. He's the second iteration of the character. I've tried once already and failed. But it was very close and I was not lucky. So luckily, hopefully with just a little bit of luck, we should be able to, to make it here. This is my guardian. Something, something. And let's go. There's going to be some card scenes here and there. I might be talking over a bit of some of it, but I'll try to shut up when they're speaking so you can hear what they're saying. I'm also going to have to be cutting through some cutscenes, skipping through some cutscenes. That's just sort of the name of the game there somewhere where you need to skip for mechanical reasons. And Finally let's free. check what we have here. Find my kin. Four things we need to loot here. The Mind Flayer. Dead. And this Cartagenius chest. They have... Oh, that's interesting. That might actually give us some tactical abilities that so i don't think I've, I've had like the potion of glorious vaulting before or an arrow of ice which gives us some interesting tactical abilities we might even be able to to make a surface we can use for something i'm not sure i'll, I'll have to think a bit about that um that's not usually something i have access to here 
Um, what I was trying to say is there are four things you need to pick up here. The Onyx, you need to loot the Mind Flayer, and then these two chests. And the chests and the Mind Flayer have uh, a decent chance of giving you something relevant. So we got some relevant stuff from the one chest there. This is actually quite fun. Can we use it for though? Decent amount of AoE, I guess. And I don't think the devils are resistant to cold, which means it's also a decent amount of damage, maybe even. I'm already talking about uh, the, the end fight here of the tutorial because that's really what we're setting up for and what's going to be the challenge here, at least for the beginning. And of course, then there is the, the rolls in this room here. Just a bit of gold. I don't think he's ever had anything interesting. I don't know if he can. He might. I need a quick word. Good. Let's hope this is going to go um, in our favor. Because this is probably the easiest place to just fail out, right? If we don't succeed these roles, we are not going to have a chance in the last fight, I don't think. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Please. Before they return. They return. If Yankee get a nice option here, but Remove we're not going to destroy it. Body. From this case, free us, please. I'm going to try the investigation role first. I'm going to add my astral knowledge to intelligence. Might technically be smarter to. That might actually be a thing to add it to wisdom and stat, maybe. Even though that's not what I'm supposed to do for most of the run, it could be a good thing for this so that we are sure to make our later own. Ah, actually, this is better. Let's add it here. We get it from some extra stuff as well. Because, okay, so failing this is bad, but it's not horrible because we still have the, the option to gently prize it from the skull here. Got a decent chance of success, and we succeeded this one. If we have succeeded the other one, we'd have a medicine check. But we had advantage, so even though our wisdom was horrible, that would have been a better chance of success. Ever so slightly. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. And this is sort of the make and break role. Um if you don't go for this, the the, the mind flayer the, not the mind flayer, the intellect of our here will be become hostile whenever you attack something that you're not supposed to, like other intellect devourers. And I do want to kill the other intellect devourer that is running around the place. But to be honest, it might be a thing just to, because it's on a mode, to skip this. But I don't know whether or not you'll get be able to get us in Act 2 then. So we are going to try it. I think it's a 45% chance of success. And hoo, 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 close one. So that means that we do have a chance at least. Oh, I just skipped something there, I think. The creature nope. seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. Good. Um, let's be curious about stuff. What's that? The helm? Tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Mm, and we definitely wanted a long set. All right, let's go. We are going to the helm. It's good to know. Very violent death emotion. I did that last time as well. I don't know if it's uh, been scripted to do that now. Just there's nothing else in this room, as far as I remember, that's important to pick up. So, did you start moving?
Looks like she used her Gathyanki psionic jump ability there. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the Gith's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? Blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. The character we are playing here is not uh, Gith raised. Uh, obviously, a Gith as, uh, as born, but haven't been raised by them mostly. So um, it's it's slightly unusual for me what's going on here, and we need to sort of take control of the situation. But first, who let's see I? who she is. Your only chance of survival. Fair enough. And. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. And she's playing the same game, taking control of First, the situation. We exterminate the kids. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. That was the hope, yes. Yeah. So our first fight here, and uh, this fight is pretty tedious. But the looting afterwards can be fun. We can get some nice stuff there. And this this cutscene is amazing. I love that they added it. So we are just going to fast forward through this fight. Um, there's not really anything interesting tactically in it. Just try to kill the imps before they get to do anything. The only thing important is to remember that we need to apply the hex in something uh, at some point before the final fight. So we might as well get it done right away. As you can probably see, us has failed his task, but everyone else are taking out the imps fine enough. Chris, uh, Lisa, even with the critical there. So one point of damage on us is annoying since he doesn't heal from short rests, but it's only one point of damage anyways. So let's loot all this stuff and see whether or not we've got anything interesting. And yes, 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 we did. So now we have the potion of speed and some other stuff. This is going to be really good. Um... I'd actually be a little sad if we get too many interesting items because that might make it um, not as relevant for other people if they don't get that. But we are going to use all the tools that we have available because doing is supposed to be hard. I presume it is. Um, made once already, so. Out of this. And a nice healing potion, that's awesome. Many of those as we can get, please. And short sword and no healing potion on that guy. So can we use axes? If we can use it, we do not have profish. Oh, not finesse, of course. That was a problem. Uh, can't use scimitars. Let's get a real ranged weapon, and so must lay cell. So if we'd had another short sword, I'd be happy about that. But actually, I think we need to do like this so our offhand weapon is the best attack. Preferably, we'll be casting with our main or shooting, and then we have the offhand attack action as well as our bonus attack. And on a hexed target, that can actually be a decent amount of damage. Unleash. Unleash. Read. And Lacelle, do you know what that says? Nope, obviously not. What might it mean? Doesn't matter. We know, anyways. So we have the nice cultists here, but we are going to just try our luck at this. But before we do that, we are placing Lacelle and. I wonder if I can control us by myself here or if he'll just return there. He will return, maybe? Yeah, he will. Let's, let's be quick about it. So, ba -ba 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 reapply hex. This is probably the right target for that. And see if we can down him in one. Nah, one hit point left is a little sad. But we have Lacelle with her sword. She should be able to take this guy down, right? Please. Yes. 
and us should be able to handle this. We don't want them to have their attack at all impossible to avoid it. We could also just have killed them while they were sleeping, but that would be cheating because then they wouldn't have a chance, which they didn't anyways. So we are really, really hoping for a candle here and no candle. Well, that's sad. These two have a chance to drop a candle, so you have something to dip in throughout the game or throughout the fight, I guess, not the game. Game as well. So usually what you do is you bring this Nautiloid tank to the fight, but I've also put a restriction on myself that I'm not allowed to uh, lug around these uh, tanks or oil barrels or whatever. So we're not going to do that. I am going to use the ones in the room. Let's see if we can get her out here. Don't waste time on Istik. We must Istik. go. Sounds uh, really racist. Um, we are warlocks, so let's try our arcana. Ooh, close one. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Hurry, please. We need to get her out. She could be of abuse in a coming fight, even though she's not allowed to. As, um, as I mentioned when I went over the rules, he's allowed to, like, buff us from a distance. The console appears dormant. Try the warlock thing here. The console that just works, okay. To life. Another arcana roll. I don't think this is important to roll clear once we've done the other one. The glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Let's try. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. So the fun part here is because this is wisdom, we actually have a 10% chance of missing it. Which would be uh, pretty horrible. At least we don't. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. <laughs> Whee! Oh. Great. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you're a gift. Yeah, I'd imagine she wouldn't take kindly you're to a gift? you. You'll gift here. Why did you help me? So this is not the case. This is probably true, but we won't. This is too hostile. And this just ignores the question, so let's do that. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. We need to deal with that. First, we have to get off this thing. Let's join up. It's like a good plan. One moment. Ooh. And curiosity. It's nothing. Trust me. I don't nothing think I trust you, chatter. though. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Right. So. There's a mind flayer crawling around somewhere. Not a mind flayer. I keep calling him that. Intellect Devourer, obviously. Let's grab this stuff first. There we go. So, let's see if we can do this correctly this time. It's not correctly. Damn it. And they're all there. So, never mind. Let's just kill it the usual way. Just wanted to get the jump of it on it, but we can just do like this instead. Now I'm standing right on top of it, which is not ideal, but anyways, it's dead, so it doesn't matter. We have one more option to get something nice, or a couple more. And we even got a candle. I did not know that the dead thralls could have those. So that is um, a freaking awesome, to be honest. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. 
And some more healing potions. Let's see how many we got of those now. So nine. Nine is, I think, sort of average. So right now, unfortunately, I need to go and cook some dinner. And I will be right back with you through the power of editing in just a second. And we'll go for this. Okay. So we are back here. And we need to set it up so that we are as ready as possible for the fight to come. So first off, we need to swap around some arms. I think it's most important that I don't get hit because of uh, the concentration on the hex thing. And since Shadowheart doesn't matter, she can wear the weak armor and Lee Sol is going to get the chain shirt Shadowheart was wearing. We don't need the potions there. I scroll to tech thought. She always starts with on those, apparently. And then I just need to split out some potions. I could do it during the fight, but it's annoying to look at. We have the fleet bulb. It's probably going to be Lacelle that drops that. Doesn't matter. We have the candle. We have this funny ice arrow that I want to try and use for something, maybe. And then we have a potion of jumping that Lacelle needs to get. That's true. I think this might be a huge difference uh, in the beginning in getting to Shulk. So it's, it's a little weird with all these extra items that I'm not used to looking at. But this should be fine, and then we need to go for Spellbook, Shadow Heart. So she's not allowed to join in the combat, but she is allowed to um, ask spells beforehand. So what we probably want to do is we want to take the Bless, even though it has a limited duration. The extra hit chance seems most important in the beginning. And then she might as well Sanctuary herself, just so the mobs don't start to go for her or something like that. And then she won't have any more uh, spell slots, so it doesn't matter anyways. Good. I'm just deciding whether or not to put a shield on her here for that little extra armor class against the critters. But I did... <laughs> I decided first to do it, but then just in a second I'm going to be de-equipping it again. We are nearing the hell. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. So, now we just need to set up our mini camp here around the candle and get our preparations done. For the first round, we are only going to be using the jumping potion from Laysel. And then in the next round, we can do all the other things. But we need the bonus action to dip her weapon in the, in the next round. We can't do it now. Turn, and turn, and turn, and, and turn. So we need to cast a bless on the three guys that are actually going to be in the combat. And the sanctuary on herself, because might as well. So we don't get any annoying aggro on her or something like that. Then a mage hunt. And another mage hand. We're using the one that comes back on a short rest. And then I'm supposed to dip. Did I equip the right weapon first? I think I did. So let's dip this here. Need any advantage I can get. And let's reaction. dip her blade there, right? Seems Critical good. Step. Oh, she deals a little less damage actually with the shield in hand, so maybe it was the wrong thing to, to put it in. Um so we should be just about ready now. I need to do the short rest before we run in, and I need to pick up the candle. And these are not ticking down now. Nine turns remaining. This seems good. X is turn-based. Quick short rest. Run in. And skip through this, so don't use um, our turns. Now we have ten turns of bless. Yeah, they all tick down while that one is going. I, I don't get why he, he does this. Why he runs towards me here. He did he so out. for me some time in the beginning as well. So let's look at our initiative order because this means quite a lot. We have us and all of the maintenance, but it's only separated by the lesser hellborn. So the annoying part here is that we have the mind flayer after all of us. So there's no way that we can trigger uh, an attack of opportunity on the commander because the mind flayer is going to run to him every time, which is sad. Uh, ideally, we'd want to have like the opposite order of these guys, so the commander acts after us and before the the mind flayer. Or well, it doesn't matter if he acts first, but 
at least then but we had someone after the mind flayer or something like that so we could push him away and he'd have to run back to the mind flayer because he wants to be attacking that and first of all shadow heart you're not allowed to do anything so you should probably just dash and get away let's just get you out of the way and end your turn We have the Hellball first. I think Lacel might be the best option in order to take that down. So he needs to move, but he so needs to move peace. first. Move up a little bit. And get the Hex going on the Commander. We might as well start as fast as possible. Strength. I don't... This doesn't matter anything. I don't think he ever pushes anyone in this fight. Yeah, I'm just spending a little bit of time trying to figure out the plan, which him to leave alive, who to attack, what with, etc. To get the best start possible. I'm gonna leave this imp alive. Just let it uh, roam around doing its business, taking a little bit of damage here and there. Hope it doesn't go for dredge. And in order to do that, I want to move us into position next to it. Means killing the lesser hellball. Let's start with that now. So move up. This shouldn't spend too much movement. It spent too much movement didn't it? Yes, it did. Annoying. I was supposed to be able to jump there now. Crying out loud. Oh, well. Um, yeah, let's see if she at least kills this one. Yeah, she died. She did. Not. If I jumped up her, she might have had enough uh, to be there ready for next time. So my bad. I'm used to having long strider, so 23 didn't sound like too much. So the footage is running at triple speed at the moment to spare you some of the time I spent to plot out the tactics here. It should be back down to a more manageable pace in a second. I will keep speeding up and slowing it down throughout the, the fight when I use too much time moving around objects or thinking who I am to attack with what character. Let's just see what we can do. If you go and throw this thing in his face, let's see what amount of damage we can make do with this. That was a lot of damage. So. That's definitely an option. And the other mage hand can do the same then. What's the other hand actually? This. 96% chance of hitting. That's great. Good. And then I think you need to fly over here. And the first mage hand. Where you at? My friend. You need to get into position to fetch the bobs. There's some bobs hitting like up here. I just only found out recently. No more fun for you. And you don't have to kill anything now, so you can Eldritch Blast this guy. If you could hit, of course. And then just get down there towards him. It's a little annoying, him being in the middle. Because we want, ideally, to be fighting up here. I think we are finally at a place where we probably can't do that much else. We do have a couple of more. Uh, like, may chance to have a little bit of movement left, and us still needs to move. So this guy can move over in this direction and bring some of the axes. Uh, it's a little harder to move the scimitar about, but ox, uh, ox, beautiful. Us should be able to do it, and then us should be able to dash and make it all the way over to the imp over here and disrupt this attack a bit. And just eat the attack from it so he doesn't break concentration on anyone else. That was quite awesome. Good. He's in first turn. Uh, I think, yeah, this this might have hit like the hellbore or maybe even the imp, so that might not be, but we. Can't. Did it just take? It just took the disadvantage to attack and hit Lacel there. That was annoying. It was stunt. Which means we get another round with him in the middle. Should have looted some of these things. Which ones are it that can have anything interesting? First off, we have the scimitar here now. Let's at least get it with us. Annoying. I want to get down to him, to melee with him with both of my characters here. First of all, let's do it with Lacelle, because that's too important not to. So, go and attack. I guess we actually go for the bomb strike first. Oh, now we need to do the right the right order of business. So, Lacelle here. I need to target her first. So this is a chain that I like, because it doesn't take up too many actions of importance. I have a mage hand here. Spike bolt should be able. So there might be a problem in that he's standing in the middle, so we might not be able to throw it because there's some silly stuff with the middle there. But it appears that we do are able to. So he's now bleeding. This is a hundred percent chance thing. So he's now bleeding, which means Lacel can move there and do the pommel strike 
if she hits, which is an if. She has a chance to daze him now that he's dazed. The wonder if this is worth the man here has an 80% chance of hitting instead of the 55 normal. So we have instead of uh, more or less 50 50 on um, on making him drop his weapon, we have a very good chance of doing so. And Lacel can pick up the Ever Ben Blake and even equip it this turn. And when he moves away from her in a second, back towards the Mind Flayer, she'll get her attack. Time to push my luck again. Yeah, so what we want to do is to bring this guy in melee as well. Um, but we still forgot to loot stuff. Do I have the movement to get him into melee if I loot this guy? I think I just have to not lose this guy then. I think that's just how it goes. Good here, I hope. So we can at least loot these guys and that should still be melee. So you can uh, you can do this. He's uh, dazed now. And take reaction and lose dexterity bonus to their armor class which means we now have 60 percent chance of hitting even though it's just a bonus action offhand um which is awesome of course giving a little extra damage in like that they sell you're both done once you move to the line flare that should be awesome you're not allowed to play so you can move over here and then you can just end your turn we have the mage hand here it moves up here to fetch some bolts then I need to place them like in a weird position in order to get them down. So let's see if we can do that. Not enough space. Did I take something wrong? This is not a ball. There we go. And then next turn it can fly down there. Don't have the movement now, right? Can it actually get down? No, 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 no. It cannot. So this one needs to move some canisters around over here. We want them to set up the ambush for the champions a little bit later. So Let's get these in position and we'll get the last one uh, there uh, in a second or so. And now we get to throw one of these. Not enough movement. Yeah, enough movement into its face for small chance of a little extra damage, which we might as well. And a critical hit for three points of damage. Sure, why not? And turn. We have us here. Um, so this is threatened and shooting with a bow, so it has a disadvantage. I guess we could provoke an attack of prestige in order to go and attack Commander Shulk. I think I'm just going to stay there and stand still for now. And it's Mind Flare first, of course, so I completely forgot. Oh, he is running away. Yeah, he doesn't want to stay in the middle. That's true. So so actually, with this positioning, for some reason, we do get to get the attacks of opportunity here. And as we can see in the combat lock, we get to attack with both of our weapons and our warlock, getting the option of double necrotic damage there, which is quite great. Then we're back here, so we get to, to shoot at Commander Shulk. We might even... We actually need us to get back into the later parts of it. Perhaps we should start by doing that. Us. You dash. I want him to go down and deal with these guys down here. So it means he's going to take an attack opportunity now. Should have disengaged before, perhaps. No, he's not even because it doesn't count as weapon. I know it has claws that it can attack with, but it just fired with that one. So they're not there. I'm calling all sorts of wrong calls here at the moment, but seems okay so far. And it can even throw this far enough, so let's do that. And a miss. It's fine. Need to get this one to the rest of them, and this guy can, can do that. And let's see, where do we actually want to place these? Somewhere around here, I think. Mm, maybe I just want to keep it there until that point. No choice and turn with you. Going. You should fire on him. Is there any chance that you can get into a better position? You can get up here. That's not really a better position, though. Maybe Lysel goes and push him, him first. You can push him, like, up here. Nah. If we want the chance that the Mind Flayer does the thing again, I think I need to try and push him down into the middle, even if the middle is sort of a hellscape to fight in. Oh well, never mind. Let's just, um, just go and attack him. See what happens. That's quite great. And try the push. Oh, could have pushed the mind flare away. And here he'll just run up. Right. I need to put. Oh, did I push into a red line there? I might have done that. I what didn't now? take the time to notice. That's bad. Let's shoot him from down here. Enjoy the extra chance to hit and go and attack him. No time 
for mercy. Nice, nice. Uh, and that weapon clearly wasn't dipped anymore. It might have been time to dip it instead. If I... In theory, I could get to push him. Would like a mage hand? No, it's all the way up there. I can't start by getting you down here. Theory, I could void bulb him into the middle, which could be fun, but... Ah. I just want to have these available for later when the champions come. It is a lot of small, widdly actions moving stuff around, but it sort of pays up and you sort of have to, to use some amount of micromanagement if you want to do this duo, I think. Sometimes the only way out turn. is through. And turn. And turn. And he should be fine to actually nothing will stand in my way. I think we made a mistake here. You should not be able to take attacks of opportunities. Is that correct? Dazed. Can't take reactions. Okay, so we need to get out of melee before he can take reactions again. Let's do that. Uh, I want to be able to trigger the, these guys next time. And turn, and, and turn with us. I think that's about it. Uh, nice one. I think we are killing the commander maybe even a, a bit too fast. At least he's hitting Lee's cell. We need to heal lay cell at some point. And the mind flayer, so we need to get her into a good position for that. Start by triggering these guys. Where's it at? There. Um, now we should be able to shoot this one. We're down to 50% chance to hit. In theory, I could move up there and get a better chance. Uh, but when are the champions coming? They're not even here yet. Okay, he's pretty low. Sort of a luxurious problem, but we do not want him to die too early. So maybe I have the time to kill some of these. Maybe I just need to make sure he gets low enough. That might also be a thing. Uh, let's start by this anyway. Mm, I definitely don't want to get ranged attack by anything. Oh, you can't get to him, but you can get to this gun. Okay. Guess we just have to do this then. Oh, good rolls, to be honest. Lysel. You should probably try and push this guy around a bit. Yeah, that is the red line there. I was probably doing it wrong last time as well. Can we, if you move a little this way, perhaps? It's not far, though. Is it far enough, is the question? It's definitely not. Mm, how do we do this, then? Maybe... Maybe if the damn Delithid was not in the way. Let's start by attacking him anyways. And... We are landing all of our attacks. It's getting a little worrisome, to be honest. Maybe I just... Do the thing... Maybe just move it, getting them backwards. That might also be okay. If we don't want to trigger any more tax opportunity anyways. Just getting them up here somewhere. Could be okay. And where do you want to go? We could probably, like, use her movement to pick up something. Loot like a mind flayer. It's in melee with him, but that's still okay. Was it too close? Do I get a tax opportunity? I do not. I didn't have anything anyways. So I think I want to heal these gals. I don't know if this is a guy or girl. I don't know if they have gender. Did I forget to drop a healing potion? I think I did, but we can do that now. Like right between the eyes. Well, I guess not the eyes. So you, you're still playing down there. So you instead, I guess. You fly and can you get to the attack here? I think this is okay. You probably should bring the hand axe first, though. Mm, this should be fine. And no position to put it in. Okay, that helped. Just want them up here to throw for later. And um, not enough space, not enough space, not enough space. Yeah, sure, why not? And go and attack the potion. Seems okay. Good. We can actually go and 
can we get to him? We can try and push him even further. Is it gonna do anything? It's probably not. It's gonna move the combat to a better position, maybe. Let's try it anyways. Need to move Shadowheart soon, so she doesn't. No, I can't push that direction. Why can I not do that? Is there something? It's probably the corpse that's in the way then, to be honest. There's a lot of you can't push here, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh well, never mind. Wrong on, button. Can't stay idle. And you have your offhand. No, you needed to dip, that's what you needed to do. So, handle, here we go. Turn and turn. She still has Sanctuary, right? Yeah, several turns left, so just end turn. Hmm. And... Oh, I, I need to pause for a brief moment here. Two seconds. Editing Shandron here. So at this point, life threw a wrench in the machine. My daughter had hit her head and I needed to step away for what ended up being a couple of hours. She's fine. But unfortunately, I had to shut down the machine and get back to the game a few hours later. A little confused about where exactly I was in the middle of this fight. So, oh, I am back, and that was uh, quite a lot, more than two seconds. Family stuff, life happened. That's how it goes. Now, I just sort of need to get back into where we were at. We have a mage hunt here, apparently, that hasn't acted, and what's his deal? He's just, he's just there to control these, so I guess he can go up there. Is there, like, a good position we can be in, so he's out of reach for stuff? Nah, probably not. Come on. Apparently there. It's fine. And us, what's he doing? He's used his turn. Oh, so he's killed an imp, and then there are these guys left. Yeah, he should probably go and get ready to kill them next turn. Mm. Oh, Shulk is very low. That's an interesting tactic, pulling that... Uh, Second opportunity there. Okay. Laysel took a little damage. Hmm. So, this is actually interesting because he's very low. 37. And we still have how many turns? Ambience are here. But only just. So we have one, two, three turns before they're even up here. What the fuck? Uh... So how are we gonna go and do that and do that now? Um, that probably means I can't keep attacking him, to be honest. Because if I do, the Mind Flayer is just gonna kill him beforehand, and that means he's loose on the imps. And I think that would be rather bad. Oh, it's... No, I can't take the Usher's turn now, because the champions are not in the game yet. Oh, that's why. It still counts as if we have the same turn here. Hmm. That means we can also do with the main chance. Where's the other one? Now, do we have anything interesting to throw in the face of these guys? We could probably drop something. Yeah, let's do that. So, drop a couple of weapons here. Is there not, like, a hand axe you could throw as well? What's it at? Also, these caustic bobs. I probably need to start picking them up, to be honest. Because if they're lying around, they're a danger. I have a nasty habit of um, getting shut down by, uh, what are they called, the champions. I think, let's just see if this shouldn't work. Five points of damage plus us should be plenty. That's great. You can move into melee with this one, just in case something weird happens. Who do we have now? We have here, I don't think I dare. Here. There to attack uh, Commander Shulk, actually. So I think we are going to be just shooting that guy. Why is that 100%? That seems a little weird. I have a 100% chance of missing with disadvantage. Um, okay. Think can I miss this then? No? Oh well. I, I think that's the first time I've seen that. So let's try and loot something, maybe. Take all. And then I think we need to dip and I'm locked into my ranged weapon now. No, I'm not. I can change to the melee weapon set because I still have the bonus action, maybe. I think we're just gonna go and 
dip the... Um, we don't even need a next turn, but let's dip the ranged weapon now. A good opportunity. We've done that before I shot them, of course, but didn't matter. Uh, and you, my lady, just need to get away. The lay cell, you cannot attack either. Oh, for crying out loud. This is so dumb, getting him so low that you have to stand and wait around, but I guess that... No, 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 don't do that. Oh, come on. I don't like them fighting down here. I would prefer them fighting up here, but also want sort of the... Can I push him up the stairs then? Let's do that. And you used your bonus action now, so you can't dip your ranged weapon. But you can place down a potion at least. I guess you'll have to. I don't even know if I wanna heal the Mind Flayer. It's very high on health. I feel like I should be attacking the Mind Flayer, to be honest. So just skip the turn, I guess. Or attack the, the one potion of healing in order to heal up. Do that. So sad. This which possession position here is most likely to not get attacked. This is a little dumb, but let's do it. And everything here is dead, so you can get back towards the actual fight, and you can even jump a bit. Let's do that, to get a little extra movement. Oh, a miss! That actually means I get to attack him, I guess. One more point, They're annoying. What's it done? Oh, I clicked. Yeah, that's true. I clicked um, to move the camera, and I'm not supposed to do that while they're moving, because... I don't know. So the fact that he's, like, positioned weirdly instead of together with the other guys is really annoying. But I do get to shoot a force beam at this guy. I could even move up here. Oh, so I'm glad... Oh, this actually means I have to use Lacelle to blow these up. Because he, there's no place where they're both gonna be there. Mm. So she needs to have her, her ranged weapon dipped. Should I go and do this one as well? How many turns do we have left? 28. It's still gonna kill him in two turns, right? Yes, so that should be fine now. It means I can probably get a little further back even, so I don't draw attention. Maybe get ready to set up like a speed potion. And the other champion. Hmm, ranged weapon. Skip, even though it says that you can't. A critical step. Now you have it ready. And I guess you, you just need to be in a position where you're not the one getting firebolted when they fly in. I think this should be fine. So maybe, oh, maybe a bit close actually. So, Bing Bong, you can finally just run away and hide over here instead. There's no chance that he's killing him in one hit like this, so it might be worth it just taking this shot. It doesn't matter, because I didn't hit. Mm. No need for any healing. No need for any damage. So, maybe you just stay here. Are there any caustic bulbs around that I need to worry about? Oh, we forgot to pick these up. So, I think this might have been my plan earlier. Um, before I set two seconds and went away for yeah, lots of hours. So can we get them to lay cell to make her pick them up? I think the void... We still don't want them lying around, but they're not as bad. And no need to throw anything. Yeah, actually, let's... Might as well. Do you really want, don't want to be playing down there? And us, you need to get closer. Have I looted the mind flayer there yet? Yeah, there's a mind flayer up there as well. I just can't loot anyway. Is there maybe a place you can go and hide? There's not, so... You just stay here, right? They sell. There's actually one more thing we need you to do. We need you to pick this up, so... No, not this one. This one, so it doesn't randomly blow something up, or we leave it there while we need it somewhere else. Having it in your inventory is... Better, except for the mage hands, and as it is right now, the mage hands are acting together with us, so it's just better. Could move us up, but the chance that he's the one getting fireballed is quite great. Let's just end turn here. 
Now he's dead next turn, which should be perfect. So the Mind Flayer can focus its attention. Oh, Abyss there is nice. What was that? Oh, it's because I click again to move the camera. It jumps back to the one. So dash is perfect. Now, the sky's turn. We can't even do anything right at this moment. We don't want to kill Shulk. Um, yeah, okay, we can do something because we are supposed to do something. And I cannot move the other mage hand, so let's just summon this one. That's fine. And you should be dipping a weapon. Actually, you should dip your melee weapon so you have your bonus action. Now we need to use that for the... Oh, for the next turn, maybe, then. So where's the... Candle out. There we go. Change to melee. Dip your melee weapon. Must be a different surface. Just light the candle, please. There was a period oh, where the candle blood. looked like the, it wasn't lit, but you could still dip it in it. Because it... It turned off the visual, but not the, I don't know, the tag sign or whatever, while it was in your inventory. So maybe, do we need to get him up here? now? we don't want that at the moment. Let's just, let's just keep him there. Okay, so now we want him to gather there, and we want Lysel to go and blow these part. Oh, that's actually not bad. Can we reach? Please tell us we can reach. This seems like we can reach. You bow, or you break. Mm. That was a good amount of damage there. 70. That's nice. And then get her back as much as possible. We still need... Yeah, we still can't do anything, so... Just move back, I guess. Switch weapons, maybe? That does anything. Oh, and... Nah, no mind. Focus. You are not allowed to join us, and you... And try and throw stuff at them now, I guess, if you can. Arthur's oh, blocked. Yeah, I know. If we do like... Oh, that's wrong. If we do like this, maybe? And then we try and throw stuff. I guess there's a chance we can hit and do some damage. We are high up, so it might do a little more, but it did nothing. At all. Maybe it doesn't count uh, as a damaging object, I guess. And this one is on its last turn, so... We don't care anymore about that. You're not allowed to do anything else other than maybe stay back, I guess. We're a little not happy about Lazo being at 60 11 instead of 12 hit point. And the miss there. Why? So the fact that the miss there means that we need to use one of the actions that we could actually have used on the, um, on the Cambions in order to to get him down. It also means I can't just go straight away and hex here. I do have to. Hmm. Oh, I could maybe use my bonus action to kill him. That could be a thing. 50% chance, 12 hit point damage. We just dip them. It's possible that he dies from this. And if he doesn't, I'm in a bad position because we want to... So maybe we just force blast this guy get him out of the picture okay and I guess that wasn't enough then we use the bonus action anyway Got I guess we sort of have to so the miss was annoying and the miss again of course but that's more um, acceptable oh the fact that he oh, that was actually great I was gonna say the fact that he now had a nice target to firebolt was not perfect so, uh, us, you get to shine if you can get there. You should be able to with a jump, at least. And I would like to initiate a... <laughs> initiate a speed potion soon. So, if we can make Lacell end up over there, but then she's gonna get in the second opportunity. But no, she's not, because she can push him away, I guess. Which one do we want to kill first? I think we want to try for this one. Let's just start with a lazarite, right? Might be fun. If we can hit it, we cannot. So push. This is more important, I think. Annoying. Attack of opportunity. Is it worth it? Yes, because it's the only way I'm going to... Oh, actually, us might be able to move over there. He's not. 
But if I get... No. I want the speed potion on all of them. Victory awaits. So that probably means going over here and then... Not, that's not too bad. I take the attack of opportunity. Unless it kills her, then it's gonna be freaking bad. Let's just say it doesn't do that, right? Yeah, well, it didn't kill her. Um, ouch. So they're in a great position there. And we do have the mage hand in a second, so we just need to drop some potions. And I think we need to put down more than one. So the fact that the mage hand is now on, like, the opposite side of people is a little annoying. Because then we cannot move potions around. Uh, we cannot drop potions, I mean, while he's doing it. Hmm. You can end your turn, and you can end your turn, and you can end your turn. Send a glass. Oof, 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 oof. Mind Flayer is at 50 hit points. I think that's going to have to be enough. You go and attack the Potion of Healing. That was weird. I didn't get any numbers, but it did appear to heal her at least. Can I move over here with this guy and try and push, maybe push it to the Mind Flayer? There's a Brine Bulb there, a Caustic Bulb. I did not know that. That's a little dangerous. Where do I want it to go? Because it's going to be one of their turns next, so... Guess this could not hurt mine at least. Let's put it there for now. And he runs all the way up to Lacel and attacks her, but doesn't down her at least. Hmm. We are in position for the speed potion, and I would have liked to not use this guy's attack for it. But I think we just have to sort of use it now. Can it be there? Is there a room? There is. And I th think this is what we're going to be doing with our bonus action now. But no, that's bad because we want to. By the hex. So the question is, still not even certain about that. Mm, is he baiting an attack opportunity? He is. So we don't even get to do the ultra blast double action this turn. So maybe we don't want to do that yet. Maybe we just want to do like a regular melee attack thing. I did want to like get up here though. But the fact that this ran over here is annoying, and the fact that I cannot just push it away with like Sun is a bit annoying. There's another Ellen that gets to act, and he might technically go for like Cell as well. Which would be horrible. I think we're just gonna do like this then. It's not a lot of damage. Oh, at least he went for the Mind Flare. So she gets to have her action now. This must be the best bonus action she can do right now. That's actually a shaft that might be better. First off, we need to kill the haste potion. Where's it at? There it is. Attack. Potion of speed. That's great. And we need to lean into this guy as much as possible. Did we have the last round of bless? Yeah, we did. So we would have wanted it this turn I instead of next. I am death. You are furious and death. Uh, you're furious and dead soon, to be honest. Go. Can you hit? Please hit. Please hit. Stop missing. Please hit. Please hit. I said, please hit. And second wind never heals anything because it's cursed. Mm, if I go over here, can I push him down to the Mind Flayer? Like, at least get him away from someone. It's not down to the Mind Flayer. Let's see if we can make it work at least. And... No one else is hurt other than the Mind Flayer, and I'm still not certain I want to heal that. Mm, so that was a very wasteful turn, though. I think I need to get him... Ugh, annoying. And him, uh, by him, I mean her, of course. I really want to heal Lacelle. She's very, very low. Mm, she gets to be healed with the Mage Hand. Where's the potion at? It's there. I think we just... Where do we want her at? Do we want her to be attacking? The annoying part is that this one is quite locked in, so we sort of want to go for the other guy. That's also the one I hexed. I think we're just doing like this. And skipping turn. Us. Sort of wanted to go and kill this, but also sort of want to break another healing potion, maybe? A 
heal her some, right? Which is good. And why do you not have your second action? Oh, you used it to break the healing, uh, the speed potion first, of course. I guess you um, at least rather have you tank. Uh, the misses are not great. Mr. Mind Flayer, I would uh, very much like you to actually hit someone. So, if we can push you down to the other guy, can we? Not really, but a bit. Nope. And now we cannot throw anything great, so we throw um, Caustic Bulb. Can I hit both of them? There we go. That was actually fine, but it didn't hit the other one. Add more damage for there. And an attack opportunity from us to... Oof, 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 oof. The fact that she goes to one and not down means a lot, but it's still mm, not good. At least this guy now doesn't get an attack opportunity. So this initiative placement is really bad, and I'd really like to kill off actually this camion. But I have to go for the other one. Yeah, I have to go for the other one. Uh, so if I had been able to get up here, which I uh, can't because of attack opportunity and stuff, I'm actually might actually be worth using my bonus action if I can jump far enough. But he's unfortunately uh, very far away from being an Olympic jumper. So nope. I guess we just have to eat our 40% chance. Hmm, not ideal. And of course we are missing, missing, missing. Missing, missing, missing. And missing. Yeah. Damn it. Lisel, can you please? This is still attacking the Mind Flayer, which we wanted to be doing. Oh, that's quite great, Lisel. Thank you for that. And... Nice. And I think at this point... Shoving, it didn't seem to do a terrible lot before, so let's actually try and heal her up. Ooh, an actual nice second one. Mm, still a little low health, so we might want to use a potion. What's you need to end your turn. That's what you need to do. You are going to be attack drawing attack opportunity if you go there, so don't do that. And now we are locked into a weird position here again where we can't get easily out. So... Oh, before we skip here, we actually do need to do this. Us, you can let's see if you can deal a little bit of damage. Yeah, three points of damage. It's okay. Hey, so skip your turn. Mind flayer, please. Like hit, do something. Small pings on us are getting a little annoying, but not bad. Is there anything we can throw at the peeling potion so we don't have to get into the weird position? Maybe like push this guy away. Nah, we can't push anyone anywhere. Probably throw this at a healing potion. Uh, it would have been nice if we'd gotten us over there as well. Range healing, go! Awesome. She's back up at full power. And... No, uh, no, 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 no. Don't think we have any pushes here. No, we don't. Want to play around with that, though. But she's just potion tanking this at this point. The problem is that we are going to be losing our actions just in a second. Actually, is this... Uh, no, this is not the round. Mm, can he get... He still cannot get up there. And attack opportunity is still bad. So I guess we're still just going for the... No, we're in melee now. That's not good. Start with the offhand attack, I guess. Miss. And no, there's no fire on that. So we are provoking attack opportunity. That's just how it is. And is it going to kill us? We're going through Brian as well. But it's not, because we're at 14 hit points, so it should be okay. Our oh, concentration saving throw. That would actually have been... No! So the Brian broke it. That's freaking awful. Awesome. <clears throat> Neither. Oh well. At least that was a good amount of damage. So with with the hex there, that would have been enough. So the brine thing that I 
dropped myself before and now broke it because I couldn't get past us without it. Because I'm uh, an idiot, apparently. Uh, five hit points. I think we, we need to try and see if we can deal five points of damage with us, perhaps. We cannot. Time to strike. Mm. So lay cell. Deal more damage over there, that's for sure. And no, this guy is the one attacking you, and he's gonna get an action because we're not. We're still gonna try. Maybe throw something in his face. No, that's too dangerous. I think we just need to kill him. Is there any any better chance of killing him? We don't have anything good to do it with. No, just need to hit. Yeah, at least that's that. And then these guys are locked in combat. I hope. Can loot him. And what do we have? Peerless focus, advantage, concentration save. That's a little little too late. Um, receives minus one point of damage, but targets failing concentration. So disadvantage and strength six and two. So yeah, okay. So the minus one the four penalty to melee damage is fun if we can use it on the champions. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Scroll of magic weapon actually. So getting all of these nice choices here is great. Uh, specifically, specifically also a trident that I can try and throw at people. But for now, I think we are just going to. Actually, how many healing potions do we have left? Because if we have enough, I think I'm just going to quaff one here. And we do. You sort of want... Yeah, I should just move her up here, right? Was that her last turn with the... Yeah, it was her last turn. Let's get her out of way. Five turns left. It's looking okay-ish. To be honest, if... Uh, what's the healing potion at? If we drop a healing potion from a cell here, we can heal all of it. Oh, don't do anything weird, huh? please. Okay. I don't need to do this. I am death. You are fury and you are death. You are correct, my lady. Mm, let's not go and play with him. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No. <laughs> I hate it when you can't stop their actions once they started doing them. But, hey, that's how it goes. Mm, would have been nice to heal him too, but I don't think it matters that much. Mm, where do we want to go? Probably just down here again. Time to strike. Slay Sal, that is correct. It is time to strike. Oh, well, it's not. It's time to stand absolutely still and do nothing because of the elixir of haste. Oh. Those misses, those misses. That is bad. Hmm. Probably need to start throwing thing in its face. Things in its face. That was harder for me to say that it ought to have been. Eat imp, maybe? That's a bit too close. Hmm. Just throw a scimitar, I guess. I don't there healing the mind flare because it's actually quite high in health one point of damage is one point of damage could push it into the caustic brian and put it on fire to deal a little bit of damage to both of them i'm a little worried that if they keep missing each other we are going to have a rough time at least oh, 10 points of damage that was not a lot mm-hmm So we, we need to start tossing hand axes because they do have a chance. Actually, we might need to start tossing hand axes at the Mind Flayer. I wonder if that is going to cause him to turn hostile. Probably something I should have tested before going for a nano mode. Attempt. And I also wonder whether or not you're even allowed to throw from down here. So let's try this. It might work. Worst case, he goes hostile and kills all of us. He did not go hostile though. That is awesome. And in turn. And you, my friend, you should probably be killing the champion, I'm quite certain. And you do not have your. So actually, 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 arrows of ice might be better here. Just deal a bit of AoE damage on both of them. 
Nah, because it's half on him. I want to use that, like, on the Mind Flare later instead. So I'll just blast for now. Not a lot of damage. Hmm. Can I not have it? Do I have it equipped already? So I can go and dip it. Deadlier than ever. At least. So. Yeah, I think we still need to just attack round three. So we need to really watch the rounds now. And they are going by so fast when we miss all the fucking time. And there's nothing really fancy I can do here. I can drop something for a mate hand. We have oh no, still not you. We have us there. He can go and attack the mind flare, I guess. So we need the mind flare to actually start freaking hitting him, please. This is so sad if we are missing two. Oh come on. So um <laughs> we do have the the fact that we lost the hex before means quite a lot to be honest. So good hand axe there, can we throw it into his face? 16% chance, no, but since he's friendly, we might be able to. Just oh that was annoying. Was not supposed to move there. It now provokes attack opportunity from the champion. And we can actually push it, but that no, it will not make the Mind Flare go for anything else, so that's okay. Down there. Throw that the Mind Flare again, I guess. Are we... Are we getting into a position where I'm damaging the Mind Flare too much now, perhaps? But if no one else starts hitting the Campion, this is horrible. But uh, this didn't hit anyway, so it didn't matter. Hmm... Uh, what's the better damage? I need to be able to go down there as well. That's not high ground. One d ten damage or twelve, fifteen. That's so. This is a better average, right? So that's like two and a half, four and a half, plus three. Um, that's seven, that's ten, that's five average, and this is five and a half average, so this is still better. I guess. Blah. That doesn't matter anyway, if I miss, and we don't have enough movement to get down there. So, missing all of these last attacks uh, is gonna cost be very costly. Nine points of damage, he's just about to die. Lacelle, I really, really need you to hit, maybe even crit him this time, please. Did I just attack the right one? I hope I attacked the right one. Oh, I did. That's all. That's something. 16 hit points is still a lot left, but it's going to be the Mind Flayer's turn now, and he might be able to kill him. Then we just need to take out the Mind Flayer for the last turn, and it looks decent. So, us. You're not allowed to attack the Mind Flayer. You are allowed to. You're not allowed to go through the Rhine. That would be silly. No, you don't. We do need to act next turn, though. I am a little worried that it's randomly... Nice! And because we have the Imp, it's still friendly. So now, if I kill it, I should... Now I can actually start killing the Imp, right? What do we have? We can throw at the Imp a hand axe. Seems fine. Just drops it before it throws it. Rawr. This is this is looking okay. Uh, I need to remember to loot though. Few hit points left. Okay, and we have all of our attacks. Uh, I think I should start by looting before I kill the imp, so it turns hostile. Take all of it. Shulk. We, we have a lot of random stuff lying around that I don't care that much about. That's probably okay. Mm, you should probably shoot. Mindflay has six hit points left, and we might miss it. So maybe us starts by going over here and killing that guy. Can you do that without dying in Caustic Brianas? Can you, like, run around? Nah, let's not risk him not getting there. That's awesome. You're no longer required. Let's see who's no longer required here. God 
freaking damn it. The caustic brine did it again. No, oh, it's a miss at least, but mm. so now I need to hit and he's too far away for me to get to him with my melee attack because of that shit. I am <laughs> not. Come on. And we're down to the point where I need to hit with this guy's 55% chance attack. Can I at least get a uh, height advantage? And then I won't have the reach, right? Do I? Do I not? I'm not certain whether or not I dare that. I'm getting a little sad if I miss this, I must admit. Mm, I think we could go for the arrows of ice for a little extra chance. only 55 so um, if i go all the way up there so if if i like just thought for a second i should have attacked with this guy first of course so the extra damage doesn't matter but the fact that it could in theory miss and still deal damage if it fails it's safe so i don't know what killed it there it it's ex exactly what i was talking about yeah so I miss with the arrow? No, no. Arrow of ice on... Where's it at? Us lost. Dredge used arrow of ice on mind flayer. Was hit for 5 cold damage. Dredge missed the mind flayer. So it died to the cold effect. <laughs> That's awesome. So Lacell, go and loot the damn thing. Thank you. And then um, we need to... What just happened? What just happened? She fell on the ice for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, of course she did. Um nothing important is ever easy. It's good. That was uh very, very close. I'm going to pick up my candle because I do want that, and then I don't care that much about anything else. I think I want the white bulb here. Can I get it to someone who can actually pick it up there? Might not be possible. But hey! Duo seems decent. Mm, where are we at? Uh, that was a hand axe I wanted, right? I can probably skip through this for you. So, Lacell being prone is a little silly. And I think this is where we say that's. Oh, there's a hand axe there. I have plenty of movement for that at least. And we go and click the transponder. The Helm's Ooh. alien transponder. You made it in time. It's a good thing we had Shadowheart there to do that uh, job, though. Clicking the transponder. I'm just gonna relax a second while you enjoy this. get the creeping feeling that might might have not been recording so in case you hear me crying then you'll know why well thank you for joining if you have been i've been shantran and you've most definitely been awesome do not forget to do the youtube stuff and bye bye